Hey everyone, so some of my videos on my channel are gonna be about restaurants um, and me visiting them, trying them out, trying old places, but I want to show you guys new places to try. I love trying new foods, trying new places, and so I would encourage you guys to um, watch these videos and go try it out yourselves. I have a rating system called RAFS. I'll give a rating, like a general overall rating, then I'll rate the atmosphere, then I'll rate the food, then I'll rate the service. Yeah, service, that's four, so RAFS. Today I'm gonna show you guys a video about Nico Nico's. I'll give you a quick introduction here in just a few seconds, um, but this is personally one of my favorite restaurants. I love this place. I was introduced to it about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and if you are a Houstonian, you must try this place. Check it out, I'll give you a quick introduction. We are here at Nico Nico's. It's on Beltway 8 and I-10. This place is amazing. It's a Greek and American cafe. I think there's three in Houston. There's two downtown, one on Montrose and then the other one by the U of H downtown. But this place is so delicious. Amazing coffee, amazing food. You've gotta try it. We're here for breakfast. I'm looking forward to it. So as you can see, the atmosphere here is amazing. I love this place. It kind of gives you this Greek American feel. They have beautiful plants there and I've been to three different locations. In each location, they have these gorgeous plants here, big pots outside. ordered they give us this little buzzer thing whenever it's buzzing our food is ready and we're starving I guess we're number 998 today and uh, the store just opened five minutes ago food is ready Yay! was divine as you can see just take a look here at all these amazing different desserts I literally want to try every single one of them but I know that's probably never gonna happen because as you can see there's a ton here and you kind of get surprises some of them I have not so much liked but for the most part I've liked all of them mainly because I'm just a major foodie my one in particular that I really liked is the pineapple one I'm not really sure what it's called I think Ananas? Not really sure how to pronounce that, but it was really good. This time I got a pistachio one. That was pretty good. But that's kind of one thing that I really like is that there's always a surprise. So many options. I haven't tried every one of them. I've tried a quite a different few that I really liked. But that's just what makes it exciting. You just try new things. And that's what I love to do. 
So one thing I really liked about this place was that they have this big huge window there as you can see um, you get to actually see what they're doing and how they make it. I really like to see that and and how things are made and what they do behind the scenes. I really enjoyed that part. That was delicious! My tummy is full and happy and we have our desserts for later. I recommend anyone to go to this place. They have so much variety there. They have super simple things. They have things full of flavor, lots of different things, lots of different choices. I love it. Next time you're in Houston, or if you live in Houston, you've got to look up one of these places to go to. So for my rating, R-A-F-S. My general rating is a five, definitely a five, because I love this place. It's one of my favorites. The atmosphere was great, um, very cool setting. The food was unbelievable. Every time I go there, I've never been disappointed. But then again, I am a major foodie. I love the food there. It was really good. Absolutely delicious. And then the service. Service was perfect in this occasion because we were the first ones there. But every time I've ever been there, I've never had bad service. So I recommend that you go. It's amazing. Thanks for watching my video. I really hope you guys try this place because it is super yummy. And one day I'm going to take her there too. <laughs> Yay!